hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from what we have here here we can rewrite one as minus one plus two which implies we can write this equation as three raised to power k minus one plus two then plus three raised to power k minus one then equals to 16 from here then apply the law of indices from a raised to power m plus n which can be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n here we treat k minus 1 as m then 2 as n and what we have here becomes k raised to power k minus 1 times 3 raised to power 2 then plus here we have 3 raised to the power k minus 1 equals to 16 from here then from here we have 3 raised to the power k minus 1 comma and we factor it out so this becomes 3 raised to the power k minus 1 into bracket 3 square left here then plus 1 left here close bracket equals to 16 from here then this becomes 3 raised to the power k minus 1 into bracket 3 square 3 times 3 does 9 and plus 1 equals to 16 from here. That is the same thing as 3 raised to the power k minus 1 times 9 plus 1 here that's 10 equals to 16 from here. Then next step we divide both sides by 10 here. So divide this side by 10 also this side by 10. Here 10 cancel each other and we have 3 raised to the power k minus 1 equals to 16 over 10. And we can also reduce this and 2 can divide each of it and we have 3 raised to the power k minus 1 equals to 8 over 5. Now let's take the log on both sides here. So we have log 3 raised to the power k minus 1 equals to log 8 over 5 from here. Then from the power law of logarithm from log m raised to the power p, which is same thing as p log m. Then here k minus 1 here is the power. And this becomes k minus 1 multiplied by log 3 then equals to log 8 over 5. Then next step from here, we divide both sides by log 3. So divide here by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. And here log 3 cancel each other. We are left with k minus 1 which is equals to log 8 over 5 then divided by log 3 then when we apply the log logarithm from when we have log a over b this can be written as log a minus log b that is this becomes k minus 1 equals to log 8 minus log 5 then over log 3 from here then also we can separate this into two fractions from where we have a minus b over c which can be written as a over c minus b over c what we have here becomes k minus 1 equals to log 8 over log 3 then minus log 5 over log 3 then here we can reduce this further and we write it as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 raised to power 3 then what we have here becomes k minus 1 equals to log 2 raised to power 3 
over log 3 then minus log 5 over log 3 then here applying the power law of logarithm 3 comes there and this becomes k minus 1 equals to 3 log 2 over log 3 then minus log 5 over log 3 which also implies here yeah, we apply change of base when we have log a over log b this same thing as log a to base b then we write from here and this gives us k equals to minus one comes here become plus so we have one plus three log two to base three then minus log five to base three so here we have the value of k in this given problem as one plus three log two base three minus log five base three now let's check if this will satisfy the given problem here that is we substitute the value of k here which is k equals to 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 then plus 1 here also plus 3 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 minus 1 is equal to 16 from here that is here we have 1 my 1 plus 1 here that's 2 so we have 3 raised to power 2 then plus 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 then plus here we have 1 minus 1 this cancel each other and this remain 3 raised to power 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 is equal to 16 from here then from what we have here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n and also a raised to power m minus n the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n which implies here we can write this as 3 square times 3 raised to power 3 log 2 base 3 then over 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 then plus also here this becomes 3 raised to power 3 log 2 base 3 divided by 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is this equal to 16 from here then we can take this 3 up from the power law when we reverse it and this becomes 3 square which is 3 times 3 we can write it as 9 from there then times 3 raised to power log 2 raised to power 3 base 3 then over 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 then plus also here we reverse this and we have 3 raised to power log 2 raised to power 3 base 3 over 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is equal to 16 from here then from the law of log reading a raised to power log b to base a the same thing as b from here which implies what we have here is 2 raised to power 3 then we have 9 times 
2 raised to power 3 here, which is 8. Then over here, remain 5. Then plus. Also, this remain 2 raised to power 3, which is also 8. Then over here, we have 5. Is equal to 16 from here. Then, 9 times 8 here, we have 72 over 5. Then plus 8 over 5. Is it equals to 16 here? Then the SCM here is T5. So we have 78 plus 72 plus 8, that's 80. And is it equals to 16 here? And of course, 80 divided by 5, that's 16, which is equals to 16. Then we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then here we conclude that K equals to. 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.